AZAM is back. Welcome back. 822, <laughs> the Arizona Fine Arts Expo kicking off today. Desiree is live this morning and she is checking it out, giving us an idea of what to expect. Hey, Des. Hey, well, you can expect to see a lot of this, you guys. Look at this is Scott here, and he is a professional wood carver. Just, I mean, the things he can do are so impressive. Right now, this is the starting of the process, right? Taking a log and really just starting to carve it into something beautiful. So he's got the chainsaw. I'm going to approach very gently here. Uh, can I stop you for sure, one second, absolutely. Scott? So I asked you, how long have you been uh, a wood carver? I've been doing it on and off for about 20 years now. Mm -hmm. um, I started off with furniture and started carving sculptures about 12 years ago. And you were telling me it starts like this, a log. Right. And then when you're looking at this, what approach are you taking to this? Do you even know what you're going to create yet? A little bit. I kind of have an idea to start, but I let the wood speak as I get in there and start carving. Mm -hmm. It may go a whole different way from what I originally planned. So yeah. I kind of let the wood speak, and then at the end I get kind of something between me and Mother Nature, kind yeah. of what works. That's beautiful. Why do you like doing it? Just, it's always a challenge to take these old pieces of wood that have been discarded, mm -hmm. some are from the firewood, and make a piece of art and something that lives on. Okay, well, let's Scott get back to work, you guys, and finish his masterpiece there. And then I'm going to take you inside here, and I'll show you what some of these finished pieces look like. So all of these you are looking at right now, uh, Scott has created. And Stephanie, you've been working with Scott now for how long? Uh, we've been doing the woodworking for over 20 years, the carving, you know, close to that amount of time. We start out with furniture, but now we do all carved pieces. So he just starts out with a log and just chainsaws the design that he has in his head or mm -hmm. he sees it in the log and just mm -hmm. makes it come to life. And then I do all the finished type work, so we work as a team. Wow, beautiful. And when you say finished type work, um, so he comes in, he brings you his piece, he's done. Mm -hmm. uh, what exactly are you doing? We're seeing some here, but as we walk around to the front, you have vases and and um, some of these are very unique. Uh, yes, I do all the inlay work, and then I do the sanding and the finishing. Okay. And then, like this one here, where we're seeing the vase, and we've got even the stone in the crack mm -hmm. there. You're doing all of that. Yeah, a lot of the woods we work with are, have been dry for a long time, so they have a lot of cracks. Mm -hmm. And we like to stabilize and fill them, make them look prettier, just add a pop of color, with uh, different stones like turquoise. And then sometimes we'll do copper, patinas, uh, just different ideas that we both come up with together. Power couple for sure, you guys, husband and wife wife creating just some beautiful masterpieces here. And then I've got Judy here with me as well of the Fine Arts Expo. This is the 20th year. 20 years. It's amazing. <laughs> How many vendors do we have this year? We have, well, we have 124 art studios, but some of them have two or possibly three studios. So it's a gorgeous show. Just yeah. love it. And they're here for 10 weeks. 10 weeks. Every day, 10 until 6. So some artists are local. Some come from all over the oh, world. We do. We have an artist from Ireland. We have one from Israel that had a little trouble getting out. Um, with all the violence. And we've got different artists. We've got sculptors. Oh, we we've do. got painters. The Arizona Fine Art Expo has a variety of fabulous artists. And um, just to come in and yeah. spend time and walk around. And we have a nice cafe. And we're on the corner, southwest corner of Joe Max and Scottsdale Road. Perfect. So coming up, you guys, if you want to get out here, do some shopping, browse around, we'll have some more details on how much that'll cost you. And we'll look at some other uh, artists, too. That was great, Des, to see the before and the after of all yeah. that beautiful uh, wood artwork. That was really cool. That's impressive. If he just takes a chainsaw, an art happens. Yeah, wow. It's amazing. It would not look like that if I tried. So that is talented. for sure. <laughs> you would have some kindling for your fire.